Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Wednesday, May 28th, 2014. Uh, well, yesterday's announcements were kind of a mixed bag, but probably leaning a little bit towards the bullish side. Uh, so uh, a lot of these numbers came in uh, bullish, some more than others. One or two were not. Today, there's nothing on tap that should be market affecting. So we're just going to, you know, just barrel ahead in our bullish fashion and just keep on trucking. So around the world, over in Asia, we're green, solidly green across the board. And in Europe, uh, slightly bullish, not as bullish as Asia. All right, uh, let's see here. I wanted to, uh, here's the real reason gold is falling. Well, there's really no reason except that it's, there's, it's obviously under manipulation. And we're going to take a look at an interesting chart a little bit later. As a matter of fact, we could look at it right after we take a look at the futures here in the U.S. All right, we're looking like as though we are going to gap up at the open. Gold is down 20 cents. It's down to 12.65. Took a big hit yesterday. Oil is at 104. And we're going to take a look at gold and silver here. And I'm going to set up a chart right here to take a look at that. Yesterday we bailed on our RUT and um, NDX position. We took a pretty good loss on that. Now I haven't run my numbers up it yet for last week uh, because I spent the whole day yesterday outside uh, doing yard work because of pending rain. I want to get the work done before the rain, so all I really had time to do was just to bail on those two positions, and I really didn't pay much attention to what was going on until um, dinner time, actually. So let's see, where was I here? We're still in all of these. We're looking pretty good. Uh, some negative and positive delta, that's always a good thing, and they're all doing well. We like that. All right, let's take a look at that chart that I was talking about. First thing I want to do is uh, change the style over to, I have a style here. I don't want any studies, so we have a no study chart. And we're going to, for our base here, we're going to do uh, the gold futures. Let's switch over to a week. Zoom all the way out. And then we are going to add a study, quick study, and we want to compare with a custom symbol. And we want to compare it to silver. Okay, now, uh, let's take a look at this. We are zoomed all the way out. Yeah, okay, weekly, all right. Um, here's something that's pretty interesting. Gold's a recent little bull run here. Silver did not partake in that. As a matter of fact, silver is kind of a leading indicator for gold. But when gold takes a digger, silver takes an even bigger one, it appears. So um, here's what I'm thinking of doing. I have some gold and I'm thinking of turning it in and switching over to the pre-1964 U.S. coins. And uh, I'm just thinking about that because this is a pretty good spot, I would think, to do it. Yeah, the gold's not worth much, but nor is the silver. So it's sort of like, I don't know, swapping one for the other. And I think that this is a good difference between gold and silver right now. I don't know how long this will last, but uh, I just think it's a would be a good trade 
off, trade off. Not going to really make anything on this. Just uh, trying to position myself a little bit better for the future. So we'll see how that works out. All right. Um, let's just get rid of this. Right click on that line. And go back here to... And zoom in. Oops. There. Okay. Uh, why does this look so strange? Well, that looks strange, doesn't it? Yeah, gold was pretty flat here, and then it made a big move down. So the only explanation to me would be some sort of uh, big player out there manipulating the market. All right, let's uh, we'll take a quick look at our account statement here, and just to explain, let's go ten days to you that um, we have to be able to. Uh, we ha you have to be able to um, withstand these this type of situation here, so. Uh, we took a dollar twenty credit in on two of these, so that's uh, two hundred and forty dollars, and it cost us six hundred and eighty dollars to get out. So two forty to six eighty is about two hundred and some dollars, two hundred and forty dollars. So that's what uh, that's the hit we took on this, and I did it in another account as well, so. It's, you know, over a $400 hit just on one position. And pretty much the same story for NDX. But you have to be able to um, look at this objectively as just, it's just a loss. It's not because anybody was mean or nasty or the market hates you or any of that kind of stuff. It's just a game that you play, and you win some and you lose some. And the idea, of course, is to win more than you lose. And we've done pretty well on RUT. Uh, so if we took total RUT and looked at our profit and loss, um, we would we'd probably be in pretty good shape. Let's just take a look at that here. We can look at it here. Uh, and this is... Uh, Let's see, this is over, so we're at $56 right now. So there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we're down $56 year to date. So that's not such a bad thing. So we're not really worried about it too much at this time. Uh, and it all works out over a long span. And you have to trade a lot, you know, you have to... Um, it's going to take a couple of winners to make up for this one loser. So you have to trade. You can't just back off and be afraid because you had a couple losers. You just keep on trucking. All right. Uh, let's shoot over to the A-plus list now. I think I covered almost everything that I wanted to. Um, yeah, we had a setup on Chipotle, so we'll take a look at that one when we get to it all right let's go to our chart okay here's uh here's rut <laughs> okay starting off with apple and we'll try to go through these quickly apple's still not ripe no pun intended or pun in totally intended i guess you could say amazon um Hmm, yeah, maybe. This may be alertable on Amazon, but I'm still, because of this little wiggle in here, I'm staying away from it. Uh, more sticking to the rules, and if we look at the open today, we're probably going to gap up slightly. Boeing, we're in, and it's doing fine. Any new opportunities? Uh, no. 
I definitely would not be interested in condorizing this at this time because the uptrend is getting pretty strong and it's been pretty strong since the uh, EMA crossed the SMA. Baidu uh, we're waiting for an opportunity here we we have a change in trend so we're getting rid of this and we're just sticking with the um, regular 50 delta down here the white target and we're moving right along cell gene um, it looks like we got a reversal of trend here on cell gene 2 so we're not going to be looking at the 20 delta anymore we want to delete that uh, and we are only looking at a possible 50 delta with this change in trend Chipotle uh, nope didn't come through for us so I think we might be looking at a change in trend here too on Chipotle so um, I'll leave the target well the targets no longer valid actually because because of this little violation here so we're just going to stay away from Chipotle until we get probably we'll be looking for something down here in the very near future all right Costco we're in let's go here and yeah, we're uh, nearly at a hundred percent on Costco this is where our short is we're doing pretty good with that CVX we're near 100% on CVX DIA just taking a look for fun and it looks like we're heading towards a possible new high in the Dow Igor We're looking for a move down here. We had mm, I'm not seeing anything good here. Just not seeing anything good. I'm taking this off. I would much prefer to see um, I might actually I'm gonna put one down here and I'm gonna make it yellow. And here's the reason why. Yellow, of course, is a 20 delta. And because of this little wiggle in here, if it should happen to come down and touch this now, um, I would do a 20 delta because of this wiggle. So it's a violation of one of the rules, but still in a very strong uptrend. And I'll probably get some questions again. Well, when are you going to do, when, when do you decide to do a 20 delta? Uh, when I don't have a lot of confidence, <laughs> basically, uh, waiting for FedEx to come down and touch our target. F5 networks, um, taking this off of here. Actually, I'm going to move it and I'm going to bring it down here because we looks like we have a new trend starting but not really strong enough for a 50 delta in my mind it's and it's very objective I mean it's there's nothing cast in stone on this 20 delta stuff gold oh man <laughs> I don't even want to talk about this which direction are we headed in gold well I'll leave that there I'll draw a new one up here and we're gonna make that yellow um, just don't trade 50 deltas on GLD or indexes. Uh, <clears throat> and I might be looking for a move up here to do a bear call. Google. Okay, I'm sure we're going to have a trend reversal here. We're looking down here for a target. LinkedIn 
Uh, same thing, looks like a trend reversal. We have a target set down here. 3M. And as these trends reverse, you just have to be patient and wait them out. Uh, 3M. We're going to look for another opportunity over here. NDX. Uh, right, it looks it looks like we have a new trend here, so we're going to set a target up here, and it's an index product, so we are going to make that a 20 delta. Netflix, uh, waiting for it to hit the target. Priceline, uh, right, nice move by Priceline yesterday. I'm pretty sure we have a new trend there. Russell. Uh, we may have a trend reversal here too, so let's throw a 20 delta target in down here. SPX, probably the same story. This should be a 20. And TLT, we're in TLT. Let's see what that looks like. Wow. Now that is odd. TLT, honestly. When the market moves up, TLT moved up. Wow. I'm going to put another one in here. Look for our next opportunity. Don't want to pass anything up on TLT. Kind of a surprise. Caught me off guard. I didn't even notice this yesterday. I should have been jumping in on this. But I was busy. Lots of opportunities on TLT. Look at all these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're all 20 deltas and they all would have been good. All right, Tesla, uh, waiting for an entry on Tesla on its reversal, UNP. Um, oh, it's not giving us an opportunity here. It's just a very strong uptrend. But we will be patient, Visa. And we're moving up on Visa. We have an opportunity down here. We got burnt on this one. Pretty good. So now we're looking at a trend reversal. And the EMA is actually crossing the SMA. Now, I had one. Is it F5? FedEx? Who was it? That uh, uh, Costco. All right. So, um, the nice move down on Costco, we are going to be exiting that today because we have earnings actually tomorrow. Yeah, at the open tomorrow, so I have to close Costco. All right, so just made a note of that. And we already hit Visa, is that correct? That is correct. Okay, so that means that we're done. And we're only at the 18 minute mark, 19 minute now. So that's a pretty good compact recording. Uh, there won't be many notes today uh, because we have no setups and no alerts and no 20 deltas. What we do have is a lot of trend reversals and we just have to be patient and wait for them to come to us. We don't want to chase after them. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and happy trading.